Okay guys, so it's time to make part 10, I think, of the WWDC Keynote 2011. We have Steve Jobs on the stage again, he's going to talk about iCloud. And basically, this is the last uh, thing that we're going to talk about on this Keynote. And uh, basically, iCloud is a new thing. It is storing everything that you basically have in the cloud your photos, music, content, everything. Um, I'm really talking about everything here. So basically he starts to introduce and talk about how it's been and, and that everything has changed and uh, that our digital life, uh, that it could, we need to move everything to the cloud just because you know our devices have changed and uh, it doesn't work anymore to you know use the, you know use a thumb drive for example to move everything. It's much simple to have everything in the cloud. So as you can see on this picture, all of the devices, the iPod Touch, the iPhone, and the iPod 2, and uh, I'm not sure what that is, but oh yeah, it's it's the Mac. But uh, everything will go under the cloud, everything will be synced automatically, all of the devices are going to be synced automatically over Wi-Fi. So yeah, it basically states that everything is going to be on the Wi-Fi. It's going to sync everything wireless and push out to uh, every device that doesn't have the latest document that let's say you're making a document on your iPad 2 then you should upload that to iCloud and then automatically upload and then store it and then push out all of the devices that doesn't have it so iCloud makes everything so much easier or it should make everything so much easier and also you made a joke about mobile me uh, that kind of sucked and th that they have rewritten it from the ground up to work better with uh, iCloud or to work with iCloud so everything is going to be synced, the calendar, your messaging, your contacts, and if you use mobile me before, you know, it's just going to work. So as you can see here, a contact that you, let's say, you've added on your phone, it's going to sync that up. If you want to, of course, I think that you can change that if you don't want to have it synced. Uh, calendar, same, let's say you make a, you know, small little thing on your Mac, you know, you change something, it will be synced to your iPad or other devices. Uh, and then we have the calendar, you have school, you have soccer, you have all of these things. Let's say you use the calendar, then that's obviously going to be perfect. So yeah, and also if you get a mail address that ends with at me.com, uh, if you get one of those uh, accounts, then every, every message that you have are going to be synced and pushed across all of the iOS devices that you got. So very, very, very good and everything inbox, uh, everything's going to keep up to date, let's say you read a message then that should be read on other uh, devices as well. So mobile media costs 99 bucks, uh, or it used to cost 99 bucks, and uh, it won't cost 99 bucks anymore. And also he stated very clear that uh, they aren't going to have any ads in this iCloud. And also very interesting, iCloud is going to be free, don't cost a single buck. Interesting, very very interesting, no ads and that's going to be free. Yeah, uh, I like that, I like that a lot. And also, they're going to have a new thing in App Store, so you'll be able to see all of your apps that you purchased, and then you will be able to see your apps that you purchased, but let's say you purchased them on your iPad 2, then you'll be able to have a new tab that's going to say not on this uh, iPhone, for example, and then you'll be able to, you know, just click on a cloud and, you know, you know, the purchases, obviously, you can just uh, go ahead and download it, you know, from your cloud, because you have it in the cloud. So, very, very, very good there, very good. Also, this uh, works with iBooks, obviously, if you read books, you know, you just sync it up, very simple. And also, obviously, you are going to have a backup feature, so you just type in your ID and password, and then you will see all of your content, and it's going to be backed up Wi-Fi only. Yeah, Wi-Fi only is going to back up music, books, photos, videos, device settings, and app data. So let's see how you know been games on some Angry Birds, then hopefully that will be synced up to the cloud. So you don't have to game that all over again. So that was six apps that was uh, for iCloud, you know, music books and uh, some other apps. Uh, but uh, they are also 
not going to stop there. They're going to have some other apps as well. And uh, it's something that we call documents in the cloud. And the basic with that is, is uh, kind of the same thing. Let's say you are making uh, something on your iPad, you know, you create a new document, and uh, then you go home. You know, you don't have to do anything. You just go home. Uh, you don't have to, you know, click on backup or anything. But you go home, then. Uh, when you're home it should be there on your other devices let's say your iMac and of course you need like a Wi-Fi connection or something like that or else it won't work uh, this is something that's going to work in pages numbers keynote so if you're in keynote do some stuff on your iPad and come home you should see the same stuff and that's also what they have been demoing out so quite 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 interesting as you can see here iCloud for Keynote uh, when you boot it up you can see you can either use iCloud if you want to see if you have anything in the cloud or if you uh, want to click later there if you don't want to use iCloud but as you can see he's making some changes here on his iPhone 4 and then he you know could come home and uh, everything is there everything is there and uh, Apple they could you know store everything in the cloud the cloud is kind of insane uh, that's why I made a video talking a lot about the cloud because uh, the cloud is kind of crazy uh, and that iCloud has storage APIs for documents and key value data it's worked for all iOS devices and Macs and PCs hell yeah it's worked for PCs yeah but that, that's very good that uh, iCloud is going to work for PCs as well so I can't wait to try that out okay next video is going to be about the next app it's going to be about photo stream and a lot of other things so yeah stay tuned for that see you